What's up guys, welcome to another episode, and we're just going to start by making a machine frame. This is glass, iron ingots, and gold, which we have plenty of right here. So, go to the crafting table, easy thing to do. Nope, we don't want to do that, I want to go down the machine frame. So let's put gold. I'm just going to do two of these. So we have machine frame. We need to make a pneumatic servo, so that's iron uh, from redstone as well, so that'll be in dust, redstone, off a new pneumatic, so this is a servo. Okay. So the pneumatic server and the machine block, what else do we need? Glass, tin and a bucket. Okay, so a couple more bits of iron and we'll be able to do that. Alright, so... Yep, there we go. We've got just enough, perfect amount of iron to make a bucket. So we've got some tin. Uh, tin, there we go. I think we should be able to make this now. Okay, so you go there. And there we have an, our own aqueous accumulator. Now the point of the aqueous accumulator is so that these three machines here are going to get a constant supply of water. So for now, I'm going to go and put that away. This not one either, I just wanted to kind of make it. So what else goes in here? You go in there. Nope. I'm just, let me just organize all this stuff. Um, I love the, um, I can't remember what the mod's called now. It organizes the inventory. This was just a little mouse click. Okay. I'm going to go in. Also, a machine block, building box. Ah ha 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 Mining well. Yeah, yeah, this iron and then uh, alright, so groovy. I think we're gonna have enough, yep, there's plenty. So we just need six iron ingots. And then we will be able to um get ourselves a miner. Um now I'm going to get mining and just need to get some, um, unless I have some, I might have some, weirdly. Be, uh, wait, no, it'll be... I don't think I have any, otherwise I don't know what it is. Um, I need to get some lapis lazuli. I think I have some some is straight off the bat, so I'm going to sleep. Um, and then we're going to go and mine. For lapis lazuli, or lapis lazuli, whatever. You want to call it? Let's go down, down, down. I'm just gonna. Okay, there we go. That was just really annoying me. You can go it as well. Now lapis lazuli is, you know, pretty easy to find. I've probably found some before and just not bothered with it. Weird feeling that there's some lapis around here somewhere. I, I don't know for sure, I just have a strange... That isn't lapis, unfortunately. That's not lapis. Still not lapis. Not lapis. No lapis, come on. Damn it. I'm gonna block off this water here. Yeah, I, I would normally get that redstone, but I decided, you know what, not to do 
that. Lapis lazuli. Oh, lapis. I shouldn't have brought this stuff with me. When I'm, next time, I'm also going to make some long fall boots or whatever they're called. But they're specifically made so that you can fall from a large distance and you can be fine, basically. That's the point. Um, Nicolite there. So, is that. Oh. I want to get this because we're going to start wanting to make some bricks out of this stuff. This is very, very cool for making bricks out of actually. And it's not, it's not, you know, un uncommon. It's more than Nikolai. Like. That is um, cinnabar, cinnabar ore. I want to make some of the white bricks because they're quite cool with some iron there. I might as well. I found a couple of massive veins of iron recently. I don't really need iron, but you know, it's one of those things where iron is a very useful commodity. Some more nickelite. Always should be careful when mining straight down has been and will be for a long time the first rule of minecraft do not mine that's a lot of nickel I just got there got s almost two stacks it's gonna be good oh cool I found some green zycordite what's called the stuff zycordite what is it zyconium zyconium oh what do you know who just sunk it Someone has to first have thought it up. Okay, so unfortunately, no lapis, but a good amount of nickelite this direction. Um, so the good thing about mining is it's just something which this having all these new ores it adds um way I feel is it adds something to go off and find while while like a lot of stuff's going on at home and. Instead of, you know, if you're playing normal Minecraft, obviously you can, like, build stuff and all that kind of stuff, but all that kind of a building stuff, you know, you can do that all in creative. If you want to make something really nice and build, the creative, that's, like, why I, like, enjoy modding. Um, it's, it means that it gets... I wonder if the, the, the unwritten law of Minecraft is to never dig up because you can come to lava, but it takes a long time to descend, so you could be... Um, I'm trying to run my Minecraft as best as I can, I've got a lot of RAM dedicated to it, so if the video's a bit laggy, I'm very, very sorry for that. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things. I think it's fine, because it's actually not that bad in-game. You know, so it's, it's only Minecraft, so I don't need loads and loads of FPS. Let's go down here, see what's down here. We've got some more. It's like cornium. This is back this way. I would get that redstone, but I don't need redstone, as you guys probably saw. Okay, so let's go back and let's... Because I was just trying to kind of find that lapis. Just it's a bit of a help. Let me just read because I've been kind of, I think I've walked past a couple of times not realising. This is a good thing about this this these these, these mining drills. They mine just as fast in um in things that you normally use a spade for as they do in actual mining. So it's like having a diamond spade and a diamond shovel all in one nifty cool little device. Oh, oh, if I died there I would have killed myself because that was... Been there. Um, I wonder if it, the thing is it's just one of those things where there could be lapis lazuli anywhere. Been up here, haven't been up here, haven't been up here. There's many torches to mark but there's not much there. It's probably something 
Um, I hope, I think this is it. I've, no, I've definitely been down there. And that's why I didn't, there are no torches there. Mental note, do not jump into lava. It doesn't really, it's, it doesn't really need No, I thought some lapis. I do like how these doors do kind of glow in the dark. That's pretty cool. So, let's go down here. Um, and I was actually around here a minute ago. I decided I didn't actually get anything. I didn't go that far. There's a lot of cool stuff down here. I'll have to come back to this spot again. Probably do that off camera between episodes. So, I'm surprised at the lack of lapis lazuli. Lazuli. Lapis lazuli. Okay, I'm going to want to get up here and I'm going to want to... Lock off that lava flow. Gold, gold is good. Some sapphire, which is also very nice. Nice and strong. Nice and strong and durable, so I can use that for probably get to make a sword out of it. Well, that lava is just going away. Oh, there's a, something up there, but. We have to come back and explore with a bit m some more torches and stuff. Some water, some more nicker. Uh -huh. I do not want to do that. That's like. That is, put it in a word, death. Very careful mining down near lava. Sometimes you can be quite lucky and be. Let's pick up some more. Uh, no, blue zirconium, where is it? Quartz. I like quartz. Quartz is a very nice material to make stuff out of. Um, See, unfortunately, because now there's Nikolai, I always use the way I find I I shit shit shit. The way I always find lapis lazuli or lazuli is because I know it as the fake diamond. It's kind of like diamonds, the talented brother. But I'm gonna end this bit here. I'm gonna go off and find some lapis and be back in a minute. Okay guys, um, and I'll probably see you back at the house. Okay, we're pretty far away, we're we? Oh man, we're far away. Um, okay, so I'll be going, getting some lapis, hopefully. Hopefully find some lapis. Just that way. I'm going to have a little bit more search around here actually on camera. I quite like this. This is a, this is a massive cave system. Um, hope I can find my way out. As long as I can find my way back to the river of death. Getting some red zirconium. I'm not gonna get take away that block, that would be stupid unless I was incredibly intelligent and did this. See that's I'm being smart. Dang good. Aluminium. I don't have any uses for aluminium right now that I can think of. Uh, but there's... Damn it, Nicolite, come on, bro. You're killing me. Just been down here, didn't I? I believe I just was some uranium. Uranium's going to be good when we, when we want to build a nuclear reactor. I think that was uranium anyway. Let's see, wait. Where is it? Ah, the green R! The green R! The green R! No, it was... Oh, 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 I think it was mums in it. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Hey guys, I am back after that mining trip. We're just going to go to bed. I got a decent amount of lapis lazuli. I got a full stack of lapis. Um, I did a whole bunch of mining um, so far. So, so I am done. Done in there, so let's throw the iron dust into our electric furnace. Now, um, we need to make 
Um, I was, I, yeah, where was it? No, I'm trying to find, what was I trying to find? Um, this is what we want to make next, we want to make a quarry. Now a quarry is a very expensive thing, because we need diamond gears, which is four bits of diamond. We need two of those, eight diamonds, and another three, it's eleven diamonds. I don't know how many diamonds we have, I believe we only have ten. We have seven diamonds because I use three, so I need to go get some more diamond. Um, so I'll be back in a second. Uh, let's try and get some more diamond. Okay, guys. So I think it's been about a day or two, but um, yeah. But 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 I'm back anyway, and I got another five diamonds. So what we can do with those diamonds is we need to make a couple of gears so we have iron and cobble we need some sticks to make the gears so obviously it all starts how many sticks do i need i need one two three four five six seven so 21 sticks because obviously no not 21 uh seven times four is uh, 28 so let's just get some Get a half a stack of that, we can turn that into uh, no, then. let's get some of this other junk out of here. Fresh items include zirconium, dan dan dan. Got quite a lot of zirconium, sapphire. More zirconium. Alright, so we need dust. Quartz dust, nickelite, 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 a lot of nickelite. Ores, gold, silver, lead, aluminium, mosinite, iron. Building blocks. You two, uh, bam bam. Ores, cinnabar. Okay, so let's. Let's get a decent amount of sticks, a couple of stacks. Um, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. Okay, so let's get all those gears, seven gears. We need a lot of uh, which we need. We need a uh, cobble. Um, because it is three iron gears, so we're gonna have to make we're gonna have to make seven stone ones because. That's what it requires. Okay, so seven stone gears. Um, we needed th three of them. Actually, we need all of them because we have turned some into gold, correct? Yes, yeah, some gold, so they have to go through. This is. We don't have enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do use the auto crafting table. And I'm going to go. Okay, so we need eight. This should be working yet. There we go. So we got we got enough iron to make all those. Um, don't get this. Doesn't work the same. Okay, so there's the iron gear, so we need to turn some of those into gold now. We should have some... Do we have gold dust? Yep, yeah, there it is, gold dust. We need, we need two... Okay, so I need... Eight. Okay, so I need... Eight of those to cook up. Aha! Uh -huh, that is running out of energy. So we're gonna have to, unfortunately gonna use even more coal. So I'm gonna hopefully gain luckily we have a lot of coal. So we're definitely gonna be water making. We're gonna be wanting to start this build craft stuff up because this is much more efficient. Now we made that act accumulator, didn't we? Yeah, we haven't no we have to pull 
sorry, we made that machine. No, we didn't make an acquis accumulator. So, this is. Okay, I'm gonna wait. For, wait a minute, I have. Uh, no, actually, we, we need more than that amount. We need. We'll need 16. Uh, gold, that's macerating. The iron, good. I'm gonna go refill that with iron. And what I wanna do is I want to. Uh, ores. Um, I want to have let's take these two. I want to have a stack of refined and a stack of unrefined. So uh, there we go. That's good. Finish that stack. So once that stack's done, the, I'm going to make another. Ele I need. That's what I need. Another electric furnace. I was going to set up another line of that stuff. That's iron furnace, electric circuit, and two bits of redstone. That's not that hard, actually. I think I can probably get that done. Iron furnace is all we need, though. I think I'm have. Do I have enough iron? I'm not sure. Uh, I no, we don't. No, wait, it was six. So one, two, three, four. No, we can make one. Five iron and. Seven and maybe more. We need a bit, what, another bit of cobble, but that's not gonna be that hard. That's walking out the door. Um, I'm probably gonna start on some um thumbcraft or thumb thumb thumbcraft. I think it's thumb because of a uh, Skyrim. I think that's what it's called. Craft. Um, then we need electric circuit, which is I think we just have enough because yes, yeah, uh, refined iron actually, refined iron. Uh, let's go get some of We said we have some refined iron. We only need one of those, one of those. We need some uh okay, we need six, so Six of those. We know we need some redstone, and then we need to make that quickly. Um, so yeah, no wait, stop. We have electric. We have electric circuits. What am I doing? There we go. We have electric circuits. So, and that's really then. Okay. Everything we need, just uh, let's make an electric circuit. Let's put it there. Okay, let's go and make this. Yeah, I might as well use this one here. So we need that. So we have redstone, redstone, and an electric circuit. We have another electric furnace. That's great. That's absolutely beautiful. That's exactly what we need. Gonna get one more bit of we have. I have cable. Okay. That's great. Now, actually, what I'm going to do. I need uh, one. F five. Five slots there for what I want. And I, I'll put that electric furnace. So we want generator, bat box. I'll put the furnace there. Alright. Generator is relatively easy if I'm not mistaken. Generator. Yes, yeah, battery, refined iron, and iron furnace. So we still want to need some iron. All right, that gold's done. Iron dust. Get that in there. Get that iron going. Okay, so there's the gold. The iron gear. So we want one, two, three. Have I made too many iron gears? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, fine. Um, these two. Wait, no way. Then, if I'm not mistaken, they go into diamond gears. Yeah. It's an ex it's very expensive Aquarius to make, but. It is worth it, and you will see it's it worth being worth it. 
This is actually why we need our lapis. No, any one of those. I need another one of those. Golden gears. And now we need just snack. Okay, we can do it here as well. So we're, we've made a diamond pick, but we're not going to use the diamond pick. Now we've made ourselves a quarry. But for the quarry, we need a power supply to it. So I can go and put it away before we get a power supply to it. Okay, so generator, generator, generator. How is that a generator? Oh, <laughs> okay, so that's a geothermal generator. Okay, so we've got the refined iron, iron furnace, and a battery. I believe you have a battery. Battery? Do we have a battery? We have only need, we need one battery. We do not have a battery. Okay, I think I'm about to make a generator. That's going to be fine. I'm going to use a machine block one. Battery, tin, redstone, and copper. I believe we have enough tin. Yeah, redstone and copper. Yeah, we can make a battery. Une batterie. Make two. So there we go. We have a re battery. You can go back in there. So we need to get some iron. Okay, let's get that iron. I need to put it through this. I have no coal. Do I have any coal in my inventory? Inventory. No, I do not. Ah! Damn it. Damn it. Uh, coal, coal, coal. Get some coal. Half a stack. Ball out. So we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to get use this coal and we're going to re-split it up. We're going to refine that much iron for now. Because then we're going to be making another generator. Because then, then we have another generator. We're going to have a second line here. So, then I need to, so we've got the generator there. That. I need to go and get, okay, I'm going to sleep. All right, so <sighs> cobble, 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 cobble. Um, just tell me if you guys like this this kind of length of episode. Um, or if you like short ones. Um, I like making them longer. It kind of gives me a bit more freedom. Um, I can do much more instead of. I do not like sounds. Go away. Drive. There we go. So we've got a stack. Stack of cobble. Good. Good. Let's make ourselves. A furnace. Instead of making. Okay, that's ironically enough. Um, for a machine block, which there goes there. Uh, what else we need? Um, battery. Nope. Do not want to lose that. Get one of these. Make ourselves a generator. Okay, so yeah, we have another generator, which is good. Uh, we got some cabling, so I'll just I'll put that cabling down. Okay. Put that 
generator right there and we're going to get that going straight away. No, we're not. We're going to create a bat box. So we need three batteries. We've made, we have enough tin, don't we? We have, we have one battery, so we'll make Oh, we don't have to do any other stuff. Okay, so we're gonna do. We're going to put it into the automatic round table. I should just just. I just should need to start using the automatic round table more. Uh, pipes and cable. Uh, one, two, three. Because I want to put one more bit of cabling down. Yeah, do you need? Okay, so the good thing about the automatic crafting tables as well is that we can do some really cool stuff with it. Just organize these all. I like to have all this stuff completely organized. That lap is going to come in handy. Oh, yeah, let's go get some rubber from that extractor because that's been running for quite a while, hasn't it? Here we go, almost a full stack there. So there we go. So, okay, so we can throw that rubber inside our rubber, etc. Okay, so we have three batteries. Um, wood. Wood. Uh, we have cable. Alright, great. So we can go make another bat box. Bat box is another crucial. That's good, alright, so let's put that there and then the back box. Then just. Oh, what's down here? Why? What the fuck? Okay. Let me just get a little bit of cable down there. Okay, so now I'm going to put some coal in this. Good, so that's going to start filling up that bat box, which is what we want. Another electric furnace going, which is exactly what we want. Get this generator humming, get this bat box filling up, get that internal buffer going. I'm going to get this cooking up the iron dust. This one is going to be the iron refiner, so let's refine some iron, shall we? The next one is one of another one, another one of these, another macerator. Um, this is something which we're, we're just basically trying to completely macerate the machine block. Okay, so we have just the machine block that's refining some iron. Um, Need another. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so there we go. We've got another bit of cable down there. Okay, cool. Oh, I think my hand has gone absolutely numb. Absolutos numbos. No, let's get it off being numb. Right, it's not numb anymore. Alright, that's eight refined iron, and that's exactly what we need to make a machine block. Boom, 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 boom. Machine block. There, 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 flint. I believe we have flint. I might as well put this in. Uh, we have two flints. We have the cobble. Hopefully I've got one more flint. No, 
let's go see if I can get some from the gravel. See if I can go and get some from some gravel outside. But apart from that, what the hell? I, I just took a. Hmm. Most interesting. Okay, so let's go get some. Let's go dig up this gravel. Maybe I can spend my life or two and get a bit more food. Lucky to get some flint on the first one. Okay, so I've got flint. Good, that's all I really needed. There we have our second macerator. We'll go next in the line. Alright, so there we go, we have a macerator now as well. This one we can get started on, on some more iron. So, we currently have nice bit of refined iron we're gonna I'm gonna try and get a stack of each of those um what else can I put here you let's just let's just get my inventory sorted out I can go in there um uh, yep sticks building blocks you 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 Tools you. Please make a quarry instead. Um, tin with the ingots. Okay, so what we can do then dust. Redstone. Okay, so what we're gonna need is we're gonna want some wooden transport pipes, and we're gonna want our. Actually, we're not gonna go want a wooden transport pipe. We're gonna want. These two conductive pipes could go out the back. What we're going to get a good bit of um, some most dirt, solid. Good, it's completely filled up with dirt, so we're not going to get any. Uh, what I'm going to do. Looking a plan anyway. I'm going to bring out the ca the cabling from there, um, so I can utilise those hobbyist steam engines that are running along there, coming up here. So if I do what I Good. This is exactly where I want to be. So let's just put. And there we go. Awesome. sleep again I'm just trying to think because what I want to do is because you obviously I want to connect that quarry up. I think it's going to be okay there actually <sighs> okay so then I want to get this You can see it's mapped out this kind of taped area here, and that's exact. That's completely fine with what I wanted to do. It's not really quick dealing with the words. I'm just going to destroy at the top there. 
Now, as you can see, this is mapped out an area, okay? What we can do instead is buy Well, the reason we wanted that lapis was because we needed six redstone. And here, and here, lapis. Because what we're going to be making is we're going to be making four four redstone torches and we're going to combine that with lapis lazuli to make landmarks and now what these landmarks are here to do is they're here to map out where how big I want this area to be quarried and now wait we actually want some more redstone if we then put a redstone torch next to it it's going to point off in all four directions how far so we're going to put another landmark oh, so we can, you can kind of make sure the right thing so then we can put another redstone torch beside that that's going to go this way and I'm going to put that right here now redstone torch next to this one you can see that over here what we're going to have is, is in this block right here, let's just destroy this block. You see, they meet, and that's making an entire square. If we put that landmark down there. Okay, see, so there you go. So we now have the landmark set out now. What should happen? When we put our quarry down, it should recognise. No, it hasn't. Ah, I know what I've done. I need to get a pick. I need to put these. I believe so anyway. On the same line of it. So that there. And this one over here I can move backwards as well. I'll just keep the general. Okay, so now what I'm hoping is going to happen is I'm going to put this quarry down here. And that's going to... what the... I think I know what's going on. Okay. So then I have to like click on it with a landmark. Okay, that hasn't worked the way I wanted it to. Anywho, that doesn't really matter. But what I'm gonna do is what I just realised. Okay, now we're going to deal with this aqueous accumulator. Um, I'm going to be back because I've forgotten how aqueous accumulators work, so I'm going to go and find out, and I will be back shortly. Hey guys, I'm back, and all I was, all of what I did over here is I put in some more um, hobby steam engines, just solely because these guys are going to be powering my uh, quarry. They're going to be powering the pulverizer um uh, which I put the hopper on top um the pa and the powered furnace for now um I'm gonna get this line up soon. what I'm gonna do what I need to do is is I just uh -huh, this is gonna hurt uh gonna do, 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 do. <laughs> what I need to do is I'm just gonna go. I don't want to do that, that's why. What I want to do is I want to get to these. 
that's pretty simple so I just need to make sure I can have access to the back of all of these okay that's great so I have access to those what I'm doing I'm going to be putting in an aqueous accumulator now what this nifty little device does is it allows me to have a constant water supply to those because that's the problem that's why I haven't started these up yet because they need water and they need a lot of water because this is their, their, their steam engine so well I, what I also did is I got some cactus green which we can turn into pipe waterproofing so as you can see we have eight pipe waterproofing and if we get some pipes eight golden transport pipes if we combine that with the gold transport pipe we get some waterproof piping that's great so what I'm going to do is I am going to I do generally obviously need water by it but I am going to use iron for that I'm going to use this to make, obviously, obviously make more buckets and just put two source blocks um, which is going to be there and there we're going to be like with accumulator in now do not want it that way around the reason I don't want to go that way around is because I cannot output to the front like that okay so what I'll do is I'll just face it this way so as you can see this will output to all sides and also input to all sides which is very good to see it's all orange there's nothing you can only have orange or not orange basically it's that simple so I'm gonna get this um, we're gonna get the waterproof pipe I'm hoping it's gonna be enough There we go, we have we do have enough, we even have one to spare. Okay, I'm just gonna fill this in with marble just because that's what it was before. So here we go, we're gonna start doing this now. We get some iron, we're gonna get a couple of we're gonna get some, some refined iron. Some iron right there. So let's just get a bucket I also do want a set of shears because wool can be very useful and might as well do it while I'm at it so as you see in the aqua accumulator we don't have any water now this will start slowly filling up with water on its own but what to make it faster we can put two water source blocks bes beside it and look it's going to start to do that and as you can see it's outputting water into these into all five of these hobbyist steam engines now that is going to take quite a bit of time and what I am going to do to kind of speed it up destroy these blocks here around around it um, and there we go and that should fill it up very f speedily that's that, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a little trick that you can do now that's going to start to fill up all these hobbyist steam engines as you can see and the way we can know that they're all full is wait it's just filling up the water and then coming out again this is just going to fly up to the top now what I am going to do some point is make a see it's filling up now completely on its own now I'm not going to put power all these on at the same time um, because and, and also I'm not going to power them at all. Uh, eventually I'm going to get some redstone going on, getting these all power from the same thing. But the majority of the thing I want to get, get is I want to get this up and running. So that's quite easy. I'm going to need some coal, and I do believe I've got five. So I'm going to want that. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to have a half stack in each steam engine. 
because we have five. When I use the steam engines, I do like just to go for it. Two, three. And as you can see, you see the little flames and they're starting to produce energy. Now, that energy should eventually get out to here, but these need to start. The only issue I have with these is they need to build up their internal heat to start producing steam. Now, obviously, we're going to get, you can see, these ones are going to start producing steam first. As you can see, the energy is coming into this. And this is starting to do what it needs to do. All it's doing here is it's just breaking blocks now. You know what I am going to do is I'm just going to help it along. Because it basically can't be interrupted through this. So. Now that's done, it sh I'm not oh you did it have to be I'd forgotten that it needs to be uh basically free of uh now it should start doing Yeah it's gonna do this, it's gonna do this. What we're doing is just clearing this bottom area here. Me destroying that last block, it should now start to do. Yeah, here we go. It's putting piping all around this area. Now, one thing that I haven't done yet and I need to do pretty quickly is I need to get a chest. Um, shit, I thought it was before, okay. Quickly. Okay, there we go. What the hell? God damn it. Okay, so when you get this chest right next to that, because that. Oh, no, good, it hasn't finished yet. It's going to start just spraying out items, basically. So I put it right next to it, and that's going to go in there. But what do I want to make? I want to make an iron. Gonna get one of these, gonna make an iron. Gonna get a normal chest to iron chest upgrade. Now we do this by getting wood and surrounding it by iron or refined iron. Now I'm gonna use refined iron because I think I've got more of that. Let's run out of energy. Yes, no, it does not make any. Okay, so. This part of minium stone is we can just do it right here. Okay, so there we go. So we do just throw it right on that, and that's going to become an iron chest. That's the great thing, that's the upgrade, and as you can see, it's going through here. It's got like a diamond thing. Now, that is it's obviously it's not going at its fastest. It's also got quite a big area here. This is its default sized area. And because we're using uh, hobbyist steam engines, uh, even though we are using five of them, they're going to want to get up to good high temperature, so you, they'll peak at 500. Um, and what I'm going to do is I am... Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to yet again... I'm going to refill these, so overall they will have received a stack of coal in them. There we go. So now all these are going to be producing quite a bit of energy. Um, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to go to sleep. Um, and um, I th after that, what am I going to do? Okay. Now I've done that. I've been asleep. So this this is all starting to work very very well. Now, now let's go to the pulverizer. Now this is that going to have energy in it. Um, and so will our powered furnace, and they're outgoing to this. And you're probably thinking, what's the point of all this? Well, 
if we go to our ores, let's just one, two, three. Get some ore. Okay, so I'm gonna want to get some copper. So let's throw some copper all right in there. It's gonna start getting pulverized now. So we put actually we're gonna put that there. As you can see, we put this in here, and as soon as that, it's going to start refilling. Now, as soon as that gets refilled, this, it gets put in here. This gets pulverized into there. That comes out, and we get it in here. So there we go. Very, very simple system. Hopper into a pulverizer. Pulverizer it turns into dust or pul pulverized something. Into the powered furnace, and that goes straight into a chest. There are any piping there, because they're directly connected next to each other. So we've got some neat stuff going on, and I think that's a pretty good note to end the episode. Um, I have a lot of editing to do, so please, I really do try hard on these things. Um, I know you've probably heard this a lot from people, but this is um, quite a lot of effort in terms of re-uploading, um, doing all this kind of stuff, so it would be really, really nice if you subscribed. Um, I try and put up videos as much as I can. I'm completely open to any suggestions, um, especially in uh, obviously such early stages where you know I'm just starting out. So I'm very open to suggestions, and I'm most likely going to be doing them. Um, so yeah, um, and I'll say again, like I do quite a lot of time. Please go subscribe to my friend Max. He's um, he does Minecraft videos as well, and um, even though the contest's over. You have to vote for me for the build rules because I played against our friend Kate uh, and uh, I won pretty much. The votes may say that I lost, but I definitely won. Okay, um, so yeah, and as you can see, let's just go. I'm just going to wait here. What that's going to do is we're going to get that coal. That coal we're actually going to get proper. You don't want to get in the way of that because that can hurt you. That's nice, that's just I'm using the wrong thing. I'm just gonna wait for this to get round. Okay. See, it's starting to, it was just, it sped up there because it got a, got a large supply of energy. See how these are all doing. They're doing pretty well, they're getting kept up on their water. It's but see, these only produce maximum of one point six Minecraft jewels. And this can go up to and this works best on nine. So with five I do have quite a bit, so this this this, this is running at a pretty good speed. So we've got a crystal there. Shh, I hate crystals. Okay, I'm gonna get stuck in here. I'm not going to come back in here, I'm just going to... So there we go, I'm not going to go back. Because that is a death trap. Okay, so... Gonna go, we're going to go see it at the coal now, as you can see. Go over any ore, and we'll get that ore. Any ore is going to go over, it's going to give us the ore, obviously if it's coal or, coal or diamond or lapis, or anything else. Um, it also works with all other mods and stuff. So yeah, I'm definitely going to end the episode there. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the series. If you want me to, I can um, get a map and put it into the script description. Um, I'll probably do one every 10, 15 episodes, so you guys can, you know, if you're joining, if you do end up joining Edge, or you'd rather a pre-completed one. Okay, bye.